Hi and welcome to another Pick a Card general reading. Today we are asking Spirit, are you on their mind? Now I just want to start this reading by saying that if you are watching this at the time that I'm posting it, my next video will be about the blue moon. We have so many exciting astrological events happening this month, my favorite month of the year, naturally. I, I mean, I doubt I'm the only tarot reader who loves Halloween, um, but super exciting things happening above us. So I'd love to get into that. Um, I've also decided to do this video because I have had people reaching out to me recently via email. I want you to know that I do get the chance to read every email but I don't have the chance to reply to every email so I just want to say that I do appreciate you reaching out and I by all means use my email address as a platform to vent or get those icky feelings off your chest especially if you feel that there is nobody else that you can talk to but I do just want to give you a heads up and let you know that I'm not unfortunately able to respond to every email I receive but I have been receiving emails about past people you know where in this period there's a lot of lot of retrogrades happening and people from our past seem to be popping up left right and center and if not in our reality certainly in our dreams i know me personally i've been dreaming about a lot of people i haven't thought about in years so it's an interesting time and um, many astrologists believe that it is due to all the retrogrades at the time that i'm filming this we should still be in mars retrograde which is a lot of heavy energy um, there's amazing people who are well more versed on this information that I am who release videos about these astrological events so I would recommend you go and search up some of those amazing people but today we are focusing on are you on their mind that is what I can help you with <laughs> so groups one two and three group one you are the rose quartz crystal oh it looks so beautiful in this light and if you can hear the C in the background, it's actually my washing machine. <laughs> Not washing machine, sorry. Um, Dishwashing machine. Um, group two, you are this beautiful opalite. It's so gorgeous. It changes in certain lights. So you'll see when it's down there that it has almost a rainbow hue, depending on which way you put it. It's such an interesting... All crystals are interesting. Um, group three, you have the clear quartz today. I am 90% sure this is clear quartz. It was a gift, so I'm not entirely sure, but I will say, based on what I'm seeing, it's clear quartz. So, um, feel free to pause the video now if you need more time. I feel like I spoke a lot in this intro. Um, once you know which group you're feeling most called to, check the description box below for your timestamps and join me in your reading. Hi, group one, and welcome. If you chose this rose quartz crystal, then this will be your reading today. I'm going to put your crystal over there. We're asking spirit, are you on their mind? You also have a song um, in the description box below. I haven't picked songs at the time that I'm filming this. So you may have one, you may have two. We'll see what comes through. Now I'm using a new deck that I received. It took a while to get here because of COVID travel restrictions, but all decks will be linked in the description box below. Group one spirit, are they on their person's mind? Group one, please. Are they on their person's mind? We, I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening in this, these cards. Literally, I'm only going to take this one. So we have the two of pentacles as your first card. A lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening. Um, I want to get more before I jump to conclusions. We have the four of wands reversed. Are they on their person's mind? Group one, please, spirit. Okay, interesting. We have the Page of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands reversed. I'm going to leave those two together. Can I clarify this Two of Pentacles, please? Why do we have the Two of Pentacles in this reading? There's a lot going on in, the, in my hands. We have the Three of Cups. Group One, please, Spirit. Are they on their person's mind? We have the Fool now. Oh, my goodness. And... <laughs> wow. Holy heck. All right, listen, you have big energy group one. I hope you didn't come to play because holy heck, this is a lot. We have the high priestess reversed with the tower and the knight of wands. Now, there's a lot happening in this person's head. I wanna say that they have a lot on their mind. Yes, you are one of them, 
but just know that this person is going through a lot right now. They are experiencing a lot of change. I want to say that it's somewhat unexpected yet necessary with this tower card. This change is something that they needed to go through in order to appreciate that there were things in their life that wasn't meant for them, it wasn't serving them, it wasn't giving them the best opportunity they can be to be the person that they are meant to be. Bottom deck energy is the Queen of Wands. You have the Knight of Wands here too. Now, Queen of Wands is a very attractive energy group one. Um, the Queen of Wands is a, is a person who... Um, can sometimes be labeled as a keen manifester. They they have this ability to pull things in as well as people in. I want to say that you are definitely on your person's mind, group one. In fact, you are almost irresistible to this person right now. They think about you a lot. You're someone who they find to be very attractive, regardless of gender. With the bottom deck energy being queen of wands, you're, you're almost... Um, a tease to them like you're someone who they they just are incredibly feeling incredibly drawn towards I don't know why I'm feeling looking at this beautiful cat it reminds me of my own cat so some of you guys may um, have animals it might not be a cat but I'll just share that because it could resonate with some of you now I want to shuffle my playing cards in my hands because there's a lot of energy going on here and there's a couple of different scenarios that came to mind so I feel as though some of it's going to be, some of it's going to resonate with some of you, others, it's, it's the other scenario. So with this Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, a scenario that came to mind is that your person could be entertaining multiple options right now in terms of romance, I want to say. You guys have the Rose Quartz. This feels like a love connection. So with the Two of Pentacles, they might be trying to simplify their situation. They're, they're looking at both of these and they're going, which one, which one? How do I make this easier for myself? Which one do I go ahead with? Um, well, the Three of Cups can also just talk about a community or a small social group you guys might share. Um, mutual friends or acquaintances you might have had a uh, recent coming together with this person if you haven't they are anticipating coming together with you again absolutely in fact that's something that they think about but for those of you that it resonates your person is juggling two options at the moment and they're trying to figure out which of these options will make them most happy the three of cups is actually a beautiful card it often gets sort of typecasted as this negative third party situation card but it is a card that is entertaining the idea of fun and joy and coming together it can sometimes talk about a reunion which makes me think that this person is anticipating a reunion with you and they're just sort of waiting for their time to pass with the two of pentacles they do seem to be quite distracted at the moment group one they seem to be in a position where they have a limited amount of time on their hands um, their work might be hectic. I just feel like their daily routine gets very, um, it kind of, it seems simple, but it escalates quickly. And before they know it, their whole day is gone and they don't have a lot of free time. Um, I don't want to say that this person has a lot of people in their circle, though. What I'm seeing is that they're kind of a lone wolf, group one, if I'm honest. I think they really look forward to these, this sort of happiness, these these moments of unity and fun with the people who um, they choose to be around. I think that time is very precious to your person, group one. There's only a select few of pe people that they choose to be around. I'm just realizing that most of these cards contain solo people. If not, there's an animal there, so they might have an animal. Now, if we move over to the four of wands here, what I'm anticipating is that this person's home situation is currently a little bit out of whack. Um, I recently saw the Four of Wands in another amazing tarot reader's spread as well. And it, the thing about the Four of Wands is it does represent your home, usually. It's like your foundations, your stability, your home life, your domestic life. For it to be reversed, it does feel like they are... Um, their home life is just disrupted. And the reason why I refer to the other tarot reader is with this layout, it, it feels like... Sh this person is leaving another situation. It feels like this person may be um, disrupting the peace because they realized it's not the outcome that they wanted. And I will start to remember the people who I watch so I can <laughs> shout them out of my videos. I'm terrible with names, but I will start doing that. Um, uh, I think it was Eso Tarot, ESO Tarot. I'm pretty sure it was her. 
Um, but that's what I'm picking up here. That's exactly what I thought about. I thought about her video where she referenced the same card. And when we look at the Three of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, juggling options, wanting happier times, wanting simpler times, wanting connection, wanting community, they're kind of going, you know what? I'm actually not happy where I am. My home life, my situation right now isn't where I want it to be. And it's not saying that they aren't to this person. I think this is something that they actually thrive off. I think that they are a bit of a homemaker. They are someone who enjoys stability. But in this situation, they're willing to disrupt the peace in order to gain what they deserve. Um, and it's uh, the reason why it feels positive, despite the fact that on paper that might look devastating, is because underneath that we have the full card group one. This person is taking a leap of faith. That is what they are thinking about. So yes, you are on their mind. They are anticipating some form of reunion. It may involve other people, which means they have to be careful with their time. I just heard that I have to be careful with my words too. So I don't know what's going on with your person's tongue, but they have the tendency to say the wrong thing at times. Um, the Fool is telling me, though, that what they are thinking about is, is taking a risk here, taking a leap of faith here. I want to say that it's a calculated risk for your person. I'm just realizing that with that Four of Wands, they are usually a careful, steady, um, strong sort of foundation-like person. So the Fool is telling me that, yes, it's going to be a risk, but it's going to be a calculated risk. I'm also seeing a dog in this card. I don't know why the animals are really standing out to me today. So your person may have a dog. Um, so coming over here, group one, I, I feel really rushed by this energy. Your person feels like timing is very limited for them. The window is limited. Um, I feel like they're waiting on the right time for you, but there's something about their life that is, is just rolling through. Like their days feel really short. Your person feels like the days are short, but the nights are long, which is a horrible cycle to be in. But anyway, coming over here. <laughs> With the Page of Pentacles, um, I want to say that this, this, I don't know why this feels like a past energy, okay, group one? The Page of Pentacles reversed is telling me that there was something that this person could have offered that they didn't. Um, it's a feeling as though something would have, could have, should have grounded, a message could have, would have, should have been relayed, intentions could have been set. Um, but it didn't happen and now it's all in the air and it's creating a bit of anxiety with that nine of wands the nine of wands reverse is telling me that this person is considering again it's like they're in the upright position it's almost like you're persevering on you're wanting to continue through this but your person is is going no actually i i don't need to keep putting ones into that situation I, it's kind of feeling like another relationship group one. Your person may be considering leaving another relationship while they have the chance with that page. A page is a useful energy. The page is the idea that, you know, it wasn't really going anywhere for some of you. What is the other meaning behind these two cards, Spirit? I feel you wanting to share a different message. What's the other meanings behind these two cards, Spirit? I think you're, oh yeah, your person is thinking about you a lot, first of all, with this King of Swords. They're very guarded. That's the other message with the Nine of Wands. I think that in the instances when you've crossed paths with this person before, they haven't been very telling um, in terms of the way that they've expressed themselves. I think that they've been a little bit distant, a little bit cold, or perhaps you, they think you have the wrong perception of them, group one. But that nine of wands reversed is also speaking to their guard. They do want to let their guard down. They're very sure about something with you. They're very sure about something. Um, highly analytical and very thoughtful is the other word that I have here for you. Very thoughtful. Um, the High Priestess Reversed is telling me that there's something about this connection with you that they do fear. There's something about this connection with you that they fear. It's, and one of the blockages is the Three of Wands. It's desires. Our desires being met here. Our desires being met with that not High Priestess. Perhaps they consider you to be a High Priestess figure, Group 1. This may be applicable to some of you. The High Priestess is like an all-knowing being. They kind of sit in their power. They don't showcase it. But they leave this energy around them that other people can pick up on. Other people know how receptive um, 
I want to say perceptive, not necessarily receptive, but perceptive the high priestess is. This is an energy that can pick up on other people's energies and you, you seem to be very intuitive and I think that that is something that confuses and a little bit terrifies your person because they see the three of wands as a blockage here. They see it as, do you have the same intentions? Do you have the same desires here? Are you seeing the same future here? I'm seeing investing energy, compromise, slow progress, and ulterior motives. This person is wondering how you perceive them. They see you as being kind of blocked off. There's so much mystery around you, group one. I think that's also part of the reason why they're attracted to you. Yes, you are physically attractive, but they feel like they there's so much to know about you. And I think that they really want to get to know you, especially with that page of pentacles. It's like they want to interview you. They want to get to know you. I definitely think they want to invest more energy and time into this. At the moment, they are feeling a bit lost, I want to say, with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, there's something that they had to uproot recently that they were investing energy into, that they were investing time into. And I'm feeling called to the Tower card again. It was very unexpected. It left them feeling very anxious at the time. Um, they kind of just had to leave. It was very sudden, is something that keeps coming through. It was very sudden. It's like they just hit breaking point one day. Um, with the Tower and the Knight of Wands, it was something that they kind of didn't see coming. And yet, it, once it happened, it was like, why did I let that happen for so long? Um, what else do you have for the Knight of Wands here, Spirit? Precaution, loss. All right, so the Knight of Wands, I want to say, is a fast-moving energy, okay? But it doesn't reflect this person's energy towards you. This person's thoughts are very rapid at the moment. They are in thinking mode, which is amplified by the Four of Swords that's come now. Now, I want to say that this person feels like they're taking forever to make up their mind. This reading, for me, feels very rushed. They're really pushing me through this energy. They're an impatient, proactive person, and they feel like they've been taking way too long to think about everything. And believe me, they have thought about everything. Their mind is highly analytical. They're really considering all the possibilities here, but namely the risks. Um, I feel like your person normally has a lot of confidence. However, there's something about you that makes them feel very cautious. Um, I want to say that losing isn't an option for your person. They feel very motivated to move forward, and yet at the same time, and honestly, it might have something to do with all these retrogrades we've been experiencing. With Mars in retrograde, there's not a lot of proaction, um, proaction, productive <laughs> stuff happening, um, which is probably why they feel so frustrated all the time. That is the Four of Swords reverse, though, Group One. So. Expect the unexpected with your person. There's a lot of Sagittarian energy in that Knight of Wands card. There is a lot of unexpected energy in the Tower card. Um, and in my hand, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So that is another slower moving card. But I feel more called to the words on this card rather than the energy. And the main word that is sticking out to me, the main words are careful proposal. So I feel like this person's intentions are to stay in touch. Um, look at this. We have the let's stay in touch reverse. Their communication is limited with you, but there's this feeling as though they are keeping tabs on you, and absolutely you are on their mind. This is what they are thinking about all the time. They do have a hectic life schedule at the moment, though, and they're really just trying to regenerate the pieces of their tower moment. They're trying to build strong foundations. They're trying to build confidence again. Whatever happened to them, it liberated them, but it did shatter their confidence a little bit. So they're trying to really just reground, regroup, and become the strong person that they are. And I feel called to show you the Ten of Pentacles. So their future looks very different for them now. There's something about their current situation. It's been completely uprooted. It's, com it's completely changed. And it does feel like it blindsided them. So I want to get initials and messages from the tissue box, and then we'll get advice from Spirit. So Group 1, please, Spirit, any more information you can tell us about their person? Is Group 1 on their mind? Okay. All right. So let's separate these, hey? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night at the time that you see this. 
It's been a crazy year, but we made it to October, fam. So, <laughs> big pat on the back to us. I'm just going to separate all of these. I want to do initials first. I really do. Okay. So, in terms of initials, I'll start over here. We have the letter P. We have the letter H or H, however you choose to say it. We have the letter T. We have an M or a W, take it as it resonates. We have an A. Oh my gosh. We have an I. We also have another M or another W. Take it as it resonates. This person could have double letters in their first, middle, or last name, or you could. We have a B. We also have an S. We also have an L. We also have a T. We also have a D. Um, I've got a K, a V, and a P. So a lot of doubles, you guys. We had two M's slash two W's. We had two P's, two T's. I think that was it in terms of the doubles. All right, now I want to get to these messages first because there's a lot going on here and I feel like there's a lot of messages there. So oof, let's just start over here. Now I have July, I'm grateful for intimacy. So listen, you are on their mind and they think about you incredibly, it's a overly sexualized thoughts. Like the devil card didn't come out, but the queen of wands is here, which tells me that I think the opportunity to be intimate may be coming depending on, see, it's like they are manifesting you group one. Like, yes, you are out here being presented as the queen of wands regardless of gender that is a strong law of attraction state to be in your energy is attracting like energy which is incredibly alluring to this person and it's like amplifying their desire to have you in their present so they are manifesting a reunion with you we also have i'm grateful for my job and i do feel like this person's job is a bit hectic i don't know why that keeps coming up with the two of pentacles and just this person's time, their time is very limited. Their job seems to be um, a major factor in their life. They're very career orientated. We have June, karmic partner. They could have just been with a karmic partner. Um, this could play into the time frame as well. Pay attention to June. When I think of June, I think of our um, Gemini babies. So they could have Gemini in their charts. Um, it does kind of play into that duality thing, that more than one option thing. I feel like they are the what is the word I want to say? They're tying up loose ends. It feels like they're leaving a karmic situation, which means that they may still have unresolved karma to deal with during their reunion with you, <laughs> which is another initial that was hiding. All right. What else do we have? March. I'm grateful for my soulmate. And if I'm honest, that's what it kind of felt like. I didn't want to jump to conclusions because we didn't have a lot of cards indicating that but the queen of wands had such a warm energy it felt really healing to me and to your person you feel very healing um, again regardless of gender this person is manifesting you as their desire um, and the soulmate energy can be very healing energy it's also pisces energy there with that march or aries could be aries we have February, I'm grateful for my love. Also Pisces slash the end of Aquarius. I'm grateful for my love. So this is a this is a person who you could end up having some form of relationship with. It's like that's that's their intentions. That's what's on their mind. Is they are anticipating some form of connection with you if you aren't already in a connection group one. We have September, I'm grateful for my wisdom, Pentacles energy. This is Virgo energy. Um, could also be the end of, or the beginning of, sorry. Oh no, is it? Kind of. It's at the beginning of Libra as well, but more Virgo, in my opinion, with September, number nine, wisdom. This person feels wizened. They're thinking about the lessons they've encountered. They're thinking about their previous partners. They're thinking about, with all these retrogrades, what's happened in the past and how that seemed to lead them to this moment where they're just gearing up to charge ahead almost. 
Now, in terms of the other messages, we have throat. So yes, this person is thinking about you. They're thinking about communicating with you. We have headache. They think about it so much it hurts them. We have gratitude. They're incredibly grateful. There's this, they're having this moment of hindsight, appreciation for everything they've been through and the fact that they, it led them to you. Um, we have happiness. You make this person very happy. You are incredibly attractive. You're very beautiful slash handsome. You have this alluring energy, attractive energy. You're really pulling them in, group one. We have longing. Absolutely. This person is manifesting a reunion with you. Um, we have solar plexus. They're feeling very charged. You've inspired them to move forward. They feel motivated. They feel determined. They, they're laying the foundations. They're wanting to charge ahead, but they're in planning mode right now. They're planning it out. And we have forgive. So I do feel like there's something about this person's tongue that gets them in trouble. They might need to apologize for something that they have said. Now, I want to start with a universe has my back card. What advice do you have for group one, please, spirit? What advice do you have for group one? We have two beautiful cards. Look at this, group one. Happiness is my birthright. Absolutely, group one. That is your first affirmation in terms of advice. We have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Absolutely. So there's a strong focus on love here. There is a strong focus on gratitude, and it really feels like this is going to be a very healing connection. I'm, I mean, I have... A video released just before about your next relationship so I would be interested to know if this kind of ties into your reading from that video because it feels like this is one of the groups or one or two of the groups in that last video so I think that this person is manifesting they are thinking about you and they're thinking about a relationship or at least some sort of connection with you we have the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So there's this need to believe that everything does happen for a reason. Trust the universe has your back. All the change that is happening around you is happening for you. It's for you so that you can be free from fear. Now, I really think that your biggest advice is to continue instigating moments of joy. This comes up in a lot of my groups, but sometimes we get so... so um, distracted by our pursuit for happiness and this future that we want that we forget to just be happy right here and right now which i'm feeling called to the three of cups and this happiness is my birthright card you guys deserve to be happy and you should be embracing moments of joy and happiness every chance you get so group one please spirit can we get some advice for them what have we got from the moonology cards what have we got from the moonology cards yeah, this person is raring to go, group one. They're incredibly impatient. Um, loyal just came to my head. There's a question about loyalty. I think they're very loyal, but you guys need to talk about this. We have prosperity lies ahead. Trust the universe has your back. New moon and Taurus. This is a stable energy. This is a, um, this is a really stable energy. This person could be born in April or, or May, but... I just feel like this is this is something that could give a lot. This is a connection that could give a lot, regardless of this person and their intentions. Spirit wants you to know that prosperity lies ahead for you, group one. Any more advice from this deck? Any more advice from this deck? There's one card in here, apparently, and I'm just not shuffling it well enough. Bring it out then. Come on. Where's the card? Where is it? What's the advice for group one, please, spirit? Is that it? No. <laughs> Where is this card? Okay, thank you. There's a lot of fire here, okay? I didn't say that, but there is. I was feeling Sagittarius, perhaps not. We also had the hints of Gemini. Now we've got Leo. So confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo. There's a lot of forward planning thinking moving energy it's like the plans are being made and then the intentions being laid and then it's just go 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 bottom deck energy for you though is surrender to the divine this is all happening for you so you don't really need to do anything except maintain your beautiful happy space um i do want to get one more card for you because we're, we're running early compared to my other readings so some advice for group one we have strength 
Holy heck, where are my Leos at? I think you guys joined me for this group today, but if you didn't, this is definitely still meant for you. Strength is here to remind you that you are strong inside and out. You are beautiful inside and out. You have a big heart. It's not a weakness, it is a strength. You have the tendency to show people different aspects of their personality that they may not feel are strengths. And yet you show them that it is a strength in your eyes. It's something that you appreciate and it helps them appreciate that within themselves. You are inspiring people. You are motivating people. You are compassionate people. You tend to give a lot. The idea of this card coming out for you is a reminder to stand in your power group one. This is the kind of person who can at times be a bit demanding. So the strength card is reminding you that you are strong and that this situation is finding you because you are strong enough to hold it to be in this situation. Are you on this person's mind? Absolutely, this person sees you as a strong person. But the question is, do you see yourself as a strong person? You are capable. I wanna say that a lot of you are very independent as well, but regardless, you, <laughs> look at what just fell out of the deck. We have animals now, <laughs> so maybe you do have an animal. Animals seem to be significant to this connection. But anyway, just a reminder here, you are strong, you are capable, you are compassionate, that isn't a weakness, you are kind, you have the ability to tame the beast is something that's coming up, which if you did um, watch my last video, that might be a very specific message about the pile that you picked in that group. But anyway, a reminder how strong you are, how beautiful you are, how compassionate you are. Kindness is not a weakness, it's a strength, group one. Bottom deck energy is travel. So perhaps um, travel is lying up ahead for you. I want to say that this person's job that seems very hectic. They might travel for their work. You might be traveling. Um, it's kind of just reminding you to, you know, don't wait until tomorrow, do these things today type of thing. Travel is elusive at the moment. We don't really know where we're able to go, what we're able to do or when we'll be able to travel to the places that we wanted to. So it's this idea of planning. It's this idea of seizing the moment because we don't know what the future holds and also appreciating these opportunities when they do come. Don't let this opportunity pass, group one. So I hope that was informative. I hope that answered your questions. Um, we are a big community now. So you are the expert in your life, group one. Take what resonates. Don't let the rest take from you. And I hope to see you in another video. Hi group two and welcome. If you chose this opalite crystal, then this is going to be your reading. Welcome group two. I hope you are well at the time that you're seeing this video. I just got super excited to see you. So today we are asking the spirit, are you on their mind? Now interesting with that opalite, it's a very intuitive stone in my opinion. I don't actually, listen, I'm no professional when it comes to crystals, but it has this deeper feeling. I always think of it as like a moonstone, something that's a bit elusive. There's a bit of fantasy there. It can be grounding. It can be inspiring. It can also force us to face aspects that we may not be appreciating. So I'm going to be very intrigued to know what comes out for you. I'm using a new deck today. All decks will be linked in the description box below. You also have songs linked in the description box. Um, at the time that I'm filming, I haven't actually selected the songs, so it could be one, it could be two. Group two spirit. Ooh. Goodness, you are busting with energy today. Well, I know I am. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Tower. The Tower was also in the last group. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, a lot of awakenings happening as a collective. We're being forced to examine the th areas of our life that we may have usually been distracted by or too distracted to see. Um, why is the Four of Pentacles in this reading? Is group two on their person's mind? Look at this. I can't put it back. We have the moon. I was talking about it just before. The Six of Swords is group two on their person's mind spirit with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Um, the Tower is group two on their person's mind. We have the Nine of Pentacles. There's a card beneath it as well. Strength card, holy heck. Yeah, you're on their mind. In fact, they don't wanna let go of the thoughts that they have of you. There's something about the way that they, ooh, ooh I just looked at this card and got a bit scared. I I'm, ooh, haven't seen this card in this deck yet. Look at, the, look at the creature coming out of the lake on oh, the stream. 
Interesting. There is something about you that terrifies them. I thought of that before I even saw that imagery. There's something about you that leaves them feeling concerned. And I think I'm going to get channeled messages for you. I didn't do this for group one, um, but I really want to. And then look at this. I didn't take this out of the deck before I started shuffling. It's the little card that comes with these beautiful decks. So it says, you are a bad ass being full of life, love and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self and beneath that we have the ten of wands so I feel like your person is experiencing a lot of challenges in their life they're feeling overburdened by their responsibilities um, they look at you as being incredibly independent incredibly fierce you seem to have a lot going for you there's something about the way that they think about you that instigates feelings of jealousy at times as well group two um, this person feels like they had to move away from you they're considering coming back but they think it's too late the tower is telling me that they're experiencing a lot of shadow um, work at the moment. Whether they are doing that willingly or not, they're being forced to confront a lot of demons and it's stirring up some really uncomfortable feelings, I want to say. They think about you and it's like, in the past, you were someone who was hard to think about. Um, it was easier to distract themselves with other things. And now that their distractions are being destroyed, it's like, it's so wonderful to dream about you. You're this cornucopia sort of feeling. You seem to have it all going for you. You seem to be their little garden of Eden that they love to just romanticize and fantasize about. So something in their life is, is terrifying them with this moon card. There's a secret that they've held on to for far too long, group two. They're thinking about that. They're thinking about the possibility of moving forward now. Um, I don't think that they will. Um, in terms of I don't think they're being very proactive about that energy with the six of swords reversed they're entertaining this idea of coming back into your life but the eight of pentacles reversed is saying that it's not it doesn't really have a practical plan it's not something that they are entertaining seriously they are still committing energy to something else they are still investing energy into something else it could just be as simple as work it could be as simple as their their job or perhaps they are physically at a distance from you and they're having to invest energy into that home set up there but they are certainly thinking about coming back and this tower moment is making you this more desirable option in their heads it's like why i'm going through so much i i don't even want to deal with the reality of my situation i'm just going to daydream about my person instead they're so independent they never would have gotten themselves in this situation they're so strong they're so compassionate they're so capable and able um your person sees you as a really fierce person can i get channeled messages from group two's person please channeled messages look at this Do, are you on their mind absolutely they're asking you if you think about them too can i get channeled messages from group two's person we have you are wrong that's incredibly opinionated can i get channeled messages from group two's person please channeled messages from group two's person we have they are waiting for you reversed so this person isn't waiting but they are certainly thinking um group two's person I get channeled messages from group two's person. We have, I am coming, trust. I was also shown the no in reverse. So this person is being very stubborn with that four of pentacles. This person is having a hard time seeing the truth of their situation. It's, it's required a tower moment for them to realize that they're holding on to things that don't serve them. Um, but they're still very stubborn. Your person may be going through financial difficulties at the moment with that Four of Pentacles, which is why they're having to stay so focused on this other thing, which could be their career. It's like they don't have the money to come back to you even if they wanted to. With the moon, though, there is so much illusion here. There is so much fantasy here. And I keep hearing secret, secret, secret. So I don't know if this person has told you how deep their feelings run for you or how often they think of you. I think it would be very surprising for you to realize, oh no, apparently not. Apparently you'd already know this because you experienced this too. But it hasn't been released. This situation hasn't been brought to light. We have two cards from Spirit here saying that they are not waiting for you, so please don't wait for them. But you already know this information. You have this intuitive download um, the situation is receiving some sort of new opportunity with these two aces, but it's a slow moving energy. Okay. This person is curiously entertaining the idea of coming back to you, but they don't know how to make that happen yet. And they're having to stay in their situation. This towel moment is happening, um, quite painfully 
if I can say. It's not something that's like quick flash, like lightning. It's like the lightning struck a tree, that tree's on fire. Um, now we've got the whole forest smoldering and this person has to try to put out this wildfire now. It's a very painful, um, drawn out experience because this person has been, uh, I, I, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but they've been entertaining this illusion for quite some time. And it feels like it's, it's having to happen in a way that it will absolutely make them stronger. It might make them more independent and more financially independent as well. But it is still a painful, tricky situation that they have to go through. Now we have I miss you, do you, eight of cups. This person may have walked away from you in the past group too. They may have led you to believe that they didn't care about you. They tried to find their happiness elsewhere. They tried to look for their happiness, their emotional fulfillment elsewhere. It does feel like this person is inevitably going to cross paths with you, but I don't want to get your hopes up group two. They aren't being proactive with that energy. They aren't making logical plans right now. They do think about you. Yes, you are a fantasy. You are an escape for them. You are something that they like to romanticize um, and, and absolutely fantasize about, but this connection does scare them. And there is something about the secret that they've held on to that is still very much in their shadow. They haven't brought it to light yet. They're having to invest their energy elsewhere. Um, and the Six of Swords here is, of course, confirming the fact that they are still away from you, is what I feel. Communication is very limited with you. I'd be surprised if you two have deep and meaningfuls on the regular because it feels like it's very much at a distance. Um, group two, is there anything I've missed about their person, this connection? We're running ahead of time. These messages came out very fast today. Um, is group two's person thinking about them? And what are they thinking about? What other messages do you want to share? We have the Hierophant reversed. So I want to say that this person feels like they let you down in the past. With the Hierophant, there's a feeling of security there because it's like a system. It's like some form of um, commitment. It's something that makes you wiser. And it's almost like they weren't wise enough to make the right choice at the time. It's almost like they let their logical mind choose a different path. This person is having to deal with that decision now and it's quite a challenge for them with that five they're very stuck in this choice now it's it's a big change that they're having to live with and look we have the imagery of a lightning again it's not to say that they can't liberate themselves but this is their path to walk they have to overcome their own karmic situations group two spirit is group two's person on what do i want to say is group two's person on their mind it doesn't matter i've already got the cards in my hand so we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, and one card that did flash itself to me in my channeled messages deck was Wait with the Seven. So I feel like this person, in terms of your connection, it had a massive pause button, Group 2. You have not been able to be close to this person in quite some time. I'd be surprised if the two of you are regularly seeing each other, because there feels to be a distance. And we had the idea of it being a, a communicative distance here but now it's really being displayed as a physical distance this connection has really slowed down there are delays there are blockages this person's resources are limited they can't be in two places at once i'm feeling the two directions here with the lines if you look at that they can't be in two places at once they thought they could um they they have to liberate themselves from something if they want to spend more time with you but at the same time I don't see them doing that because they do have a lot on their plate we have the high priestess more confirmation that you already know a lot of this I feel like you may be getting a lot of messages about this in other readings um, your intuition may just be picking up on this the moon is also there amplifying the intuitive thoughts behind this connection we have a crescent moon though on those two cards so it's that reminder that we may not have all the information group two but trust that what information we need is finding us. We don't always need all the information. Sometimes all the information would be too heavy of a burden to bear, and we don't need to carry those burdens. Trust that you have all the information you need for right now, and use that information to move forward, putting yourself forward. I'm spitting a lot, sorry, I hope you can see that. Um, to put yourself forward, to put your own needs forward, and to continue doing what is right for you because that is what your person is trying to do they're trying to do what is right for them right now um group two please spirit are they on their person's mind we have the nine of swords hell yeah group two your person dreams about you there's something about you that they do just you you loop in their head 
you have no filter. They wish they could put a filter on. They wish they could put a group two filter and say, you know what, I don't want to think about that person today. I'm going through too much. But you just come in and out of their head whenever you want. There is no way around this. They're saying you're always there constantly. And at, at times it is painful. At times they lose sleep over this. Absolutely. They think about you too much, they want to say. They think about you to the point where it does create this feeling of... Um, loss this feeling of sorrow it's some pretty heavy stuff that they haven't really healed they haven't really dealt with in fact their eyes pretend like it's like their eyes are looking elsewhere but their mind keeps pulling them back to you bottom deck energy is the daughter of swords guys this is the page of swords it does this person think of you yes i believe this person may have blocked you if you share social medias, that's some message that's coming through with the Daughter of Swords reversed. Communication is extremely limited, if they're at all. I want to say that this person pretends that they don't think about you as much as they do. I don't think that this person stalks your social media if you do have the ability to do. I know that a lot of you don't have social media, so don't take this if it doesn't resonate for you. But if you do have social media accounts that are linked. Um, I think that this person is going through a lot and they might have just been laying low. They might have blocked you, they might have deactivated, they might just have not posted in a while. They're going through a lot, you guys, and it isn't personal, it's other things. You're actually an escapism for this person. Now I wanna get initials and messages from my tissue box. Group two, what can you tell me about that person? Are they thinking of group two? Okay, interesting. All right, so let me put that over there. And we'll get these over here. What else do we have in this beautiful collection of papers? All right, I'm going to start with the initials. We have an I. So I just heard third eye. I think third eye is in here somewhere as well. It might not be, but your third eye might be really calling you towards your person's, um, I want to say emotions, your person's, it's not just their energy, it's, it's their, I just feel like you're very empathetic when it comes to this person. You pick up on how they're feeling. The two of you are incredibly connected and your person knows that, which is why they tried to distance you in the past and now they're trying to call on you I feel your person um there's something about this connection that still scares them they don't really understand it they don't really know what's going on between the two of you um they're going through a lot right now that they're having to overcome and I just really need to remind you that you should be trusting your intuition but don't take this person's actions and behaviors personally they're just doing what is best for them with the information that they have and this person isn't entirely awakened. I feel like they are incredibly intuitive, but their logical mind overrides their intuitive mind. We have B as well. We have a P. So these initials could be your first, middle, last name, or initials that are significant to your connection. We have a T. We also have a G. We have a D. We have a K. I've also got an R, oops, I also have an O, I also have an N, there's two more down here. Now lately the initials have been hiding so I think there's only two more. This is a W or an M, take it as it resonates. And we also have an O, so another O. This person could have double letters in their first, middle, or last name, or you could. We have inspired, and I was feeling that with the Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles card down here. You inspire your person. This person feels inspired to be like you. You seem to have it all together. You seem to be very independent. You seem to be very strong with a healthy dose of compassion. You just come across as very fierce. You go for what you want, and you're always successful in their eyes. We also have choices, so I do think that this person has to 
pick up the pieces of their tower moment, even though that forest is still burning and they have to make a pretty major decision. They're feeling conflicted about that. They're definitely thinking about you. They're thinking about a lot though. They have a lot going on in their life. We have solar plexus. This person is feeling motivated to make a big change in their life. We have remembering. They think about any past memories that the two of you have shared. They do have regrets over the way that they treated you in the past is something that's coming through. We have crown chakra. Pay attention to your dreams because we also have third eye as well. So your intuitive messages are really trying to come through. The crown chakra is like, I feel, I feel like if you have been having headaches, if you have been feeling like you have a bit of an itchy scalp at times or like you're if you're someone who likes to wear their hair up, perhaps it's really uncomfortable for you. Perhaps you're feeling tired all the time. You feel like a weird dullness in your, in your head between your eyebrows. It's your third eye and it's your crown chakra group too. There's a lot of stuff going on and this person seems to share an energetic channel with you. They seem to have a very spiritual connection with you. The two of you share energy and this person's experiences are pulling you into that energy that they have, which is very low at the moment. They've got a lot that they're going through. They're having to be confronted by a lot of shadow work that they haven't addressed earlier. These illusions are being destroyed and it's a lot for them to go through. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're experiencing exhaustion as well. Your dreams might be very hectic right now. Something that could help you is to just journal, script, write it down, get it out. You might not even make any sense to you, but it could be a healthy form of letting it out. I also want to say ground yourself because your head is almost in the clouds all the time. You might be daydreaming a lot. You might be feeling very fatigued very foggy. Um, so ground yourself, get out in nature, even just sit cross-legged on a patch of grass if you must. If you can swim in a natural body of water, absolutely do that to cleanse yourself. Using crystals in general to ground yourself, protection crystals as well. Um, I want to say that another thing that could work for you is just smoke cleansing, you know, group two. Uh, just being very mindful of who you invest your energy towards because you are very empathetic at the moment you seem to be an open nerve that this person is unknowingly channeling and tapping into so you're very heightened at the moment in terms of your intuition so just look after yourselves and put your needs first here now we also have separation so yes you you are my separation pile group two it's been a while since you've seen this person we have june karmic partner it could have absolutely there's some sort of karmic cycle that this person is currently engaged in. It could be a karmic partner. You could have experienced a karmic partner recently. You might have thought that this person was your karmic partner. Um, I think that there's definitely a lesson here. But I want to say that the biggest lesson is that you are not responsible for this person's healing. This person has to live with the choices they've made and they have to learn from those decisions. We have that would hurt. There is a lot of fear around hurting people in this connection, hurting you, hurting other people, hurting themselves. There is a lot of fear in this connection still. We have October, I wish I told you. There is a secret that this person it feels is a burden. It's weighing down on them. They want to liberate themselves from it, but they have to walk through the fire first. And we have March, I am grateful for you. You have inspired this person. They look up to you. They see you as someone who seems to have it all together. Whether that's the truth or not, that's their perception. And it's inspiring them to want more for themselves. I want to get affirmation cards for you now, group two. Can we get some affirmation cards for group two? What do they need to hear about this situation or just in general at the time that they're reading or they come across this reading? True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Yes. I don't doubt that this person has triggered you in some way. It feels like they have really kept you at a distance, despite the fact that you pick up on each other's energies, despite the fact that you always seem to know what they're going through. It's been a very triggering experience for you, and you've perhaps found it hard to move on, to find closure, and to really heal yourself from this process, especially when this person still going through a lot of pain and you know you're picking up on that but it's important to separate yourself from your healing and their healing as connected as you are the pain that they're going through is a result of the actions that they made the choices that they made it is their responsibility to heal themselves and as empathetic and intuitive as you are you're picking up on that pain but it isn't yours group two so the true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. I want to get one more card for you, group two. 
affirmation card or some beautiful advice that they need to hear right now. We have, oh, we have two and I haven't seen this card yet. I honor how I want to feel. I honor how I want to feel. Now this is important because I've been spitting a lot of advice here, but we have two cards indicating the high priestess. You, my group twos, are the experts in your life. When I say that, I am referencing the High Priestess card. When that comes out in any reading, no one can tell you how you should be feeling except you. You are the experts in your life. If you feel strongly like this is what you need to do, this is the advice, you are the expert here. Honor how you want to feel. I am just here to relay messages of advice as I see them, but you are the true expert here. So don't discredit what you feel. Don't discredit what you've been going through. Don't let me minimize your pain because it does feel like you've been picking up on a lot. Um, by all means, honor how you want to feel here. You are the expert in your life. Obstacles are detours in the right direction, which is very interesting. I remember seeing a message, I think it was on Instagram. It was about um, sometimes a missed opportunity is a blessing in disguise. So trust that if this person is away from you, they are meant to be away from you right now. Trust that whatever is meant to find you will find you. Just because it isn't here now doesn't mean it won't be there in the future. If it is meant for you, it will come back to you. But for right now, obstacles are detours in the right direction. Your paths may be pivoting into different directions for a reason. There may be something else or someone else that you are meant to come into connection with for the moment, group two. Bottom deck energy is, I am the dreamer of my dream. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on what you truly deserve here. You are creating your future through your reality right here and right now. What you say to yourself, what you do for yourself today is dictating your future. You are the dreamer of your dreams, group two. I want to get moonology cards for you as well. Group two, what advice do you have for them, spirit? We, oh, hello. So I don't want to show these to you reversed. I want to show you this card first. It's the Scorpio card, full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. And I feel that with this card, it's the fact that you are carrying this person's pain. And it's unwillingly, I want to say. And this person hasn't purposely done this to you. The two of you share a very strong connection. And when they go through these things, they open this channel unknowingly and you transfer, you feel that being transferred onto, I hope this isn't too far out for you group two, but it feels like you're carrying some of their burdens. So it is important that you liberate yourselves, protect yourselves, understand what is your pain and what is their pain. And really just remember that you are good enough. You deserve the best here with this full moon in Virgo. I do feel like you aren't going to, Come into union with this person right now, group two, because the Virgo card is usually a card that's reminding you how good and independent and self-sufficient you are as an individual. But there is definitely a release that needs to happen with this full moon. You need to release something in this connection. Emotions are running high. The connection is incredibly strong. Um, but unfortunately, for now... Um, your person has a lot of healing that they need to do. They have to overcome a lot of obstacles. So are you on their mind? Absolutely. And I want you to remember that you are good enough, group two. The fact is, obstacles are detours in the right direction. Bottom deck energy is surrendered to the divine. That's so interesting. That came out for group one as well. So there may be messages in group one for you as well. Uh, let's get this spell casting deck. Can I get some more advice for group two, please? Any other card, cards? Sweetheart, that's too much. <laughs> that's far too much. I want to get one card, please, for group two. Thank you. Look at that. Empowerment. Here we are, group two. You are strong. You are capable. You are good enough. Feel that. Embrace that. Own that. Be your biggest hype man in this situation. Rem remind yourself that you are incredibly intuitive and this person idolizes you in a way that they are inspired to be like you. Yet, I just want you to see that within yourself, you know. Um, I was saying all these wonderful things about you, but it's really important that you see this within yourself, that you understand this within yourself. Don't let this person's actions um, persuade you from realizing how beautiful and, and or handsome you are, you know. Sometimes, again, these obstacles are detours in the right direction. 
this person's actions isn't a true reflection of your worth. I feel like I need to say that because I think that this person in the past may have chosen someone or something else other than you and it instigated feelings of worthiness. Am I worthiness? Do I, am I worthy enough? Did, why did they not choose me? Um, so I just feel like this is, this is missing you for a reason and you are intended for something greater. You are good enough for something greater. So just really trust your feelings. You're the expert here. I don't mean to try to educate an expert, but this card is really calling for you to stand in your power and to embrace the amazing person that you are and the amazing being that you are becoming because we are constantly evolving and this situation will strengthen you. It will be painful in the end term because you do have a very intuitive connection with this person, but remember that you are strong enough to take on a connection like this and it was intended to be a part of your life because there is a beautiful um, leveling up situation that's happening here if it hasn't happened already. A lot of you would have awakened after this person came into your life. A lot of you had a lot of change happen after this person came into your life. But just remember that this is happening for you and this is a firm reminder to be your biggest hype man. That is your biggest advice, group two. Modern deck energies travel. Are you joking? Group two. <laughs> This is the same bottom deck energy as group one. So listen, I think a lot of you have messages in group one as well. I mean, if you're really not feeling it, you don't have to watch it, but there may be messages there for you as well. Travel. I, I mean, I don't even know if I should talk. I will talk about this because you, you don't have to see group one, but the travel card for me is this idea that tomorrow isn't promised, especially in today's day and age. This is a timeless reading. But travel is extremely restricted right now. Tomorrow isn't promised. Live for today. Create moments of joy for today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't put it off until tomorrow. Do what makes you happy right here and right now. Keep living as though you are the biggest priority in your life. Oh, excuse me. Keep putting your own needs first and remember that tomorrow isn't promised. So group two, that is what I'm seeing for you. I hope it was informative. My wonderful high priestess people, as always, you're the expert in your life. I mean that tenfold because we have a lot of intuitive, empathetic beings here. Look after yourselves. Take what resonates. Don't let the rest take from you. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye. Group three, welcome. If you chose the clear quartz crystal, then this is going to be your reading. So today we are asking you, spirit, are you on their mind? I will be doing readings about the wonderful astrological events that are happening around us, including the blue moon on Halloween. How crazy. That is insane. Happens once every three years, and it just so happened to be Halloween this year. Love it. All right, group three, I'm going to start with the tarot for you. Have your person in mind if you can, if you're just jumping out on a limb here, wanting to watch another video, um, then we'll see what comes through for you. But group three, is group three's person thinking of them? We have the nine of wands reversed. Interesting. I'm going to pop that there and I'll get some more. Group three. Is group three's person thinking of them? We have the Knight of Cups with the Four of Swords. I want to put these two together because that's how they came out. Group three. Is group three's person thinking of them? We have... Oh, wow. We have a lot. Do I take all of these? Apparently so. Now... There's a lot going on, but the card that is weighing over this energy the most is the Two of Cups, which is kind of hidden in the back there. I'm going to show them to you as I was seeing them. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed on this side, the Temperance here on that side, Judgment, and then the Two of Cups in the background. So I want to say for you, Group 3, your person wants peace. They feel like they need peace in this connection, in their life. They're feeling restless. They're feeling like something needs to change. Um, and I feel like they know what that is with temperance and judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. They, they took a turn and it wasn't the right turn to take. I'm going to clarify though, because there is a lot going on here and I could feel it before I started your reading, which is why I have some smoke blowing to sort of keep the energy fresh here. But there is a lot going on in your person's mind and their head in their life. Their energy is very overwhelmingly heavy right now. I don't think they're sleeping well. I think they are sleeping a lot with that Four of Swords. They're thinking a lot, but they're not actually getting enough rest 
is what I'm feeling. Group three, please, Spirit. Can we clarify the Nine of Wands? Are they on their person's mind? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yes. They're trying not to think about you, Group 3. That's what I just realized. You're a distraction to this person. But despite the fact that they're trying not to, they still do. I think that if this person wanted to speak for themselves they would say no i don't think about you you're not on my mind but the truth is they don't have a lot of time for a lot of people right now i think your person's going through a lot group three please spirit is their person thinking of them group three is their person thinking of them Group three is the person thinking of them. We have the Queen of Pentacles now with the Seven of Swords reversed, clarifying our Four of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Goodness, you always just obliterate my readings <laughs> in the best way, Group three. Like, this isn't a spread. This is just how I'm being told to organize the cards so that I can read them the best. But if you were to watch Group one and two's readings, <laughs> A lot more straightforward compared to your, your reading in terms of the cards. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Oops. All right. Chariot. Major energy. You have a lot of major arcana here. Judgment, temperance, chariot. Bottom deck energy is the queen of wands. So listen, you guys. Um, I feel, and I feel like I need to rub my third eye. I'm just going to hold the selenite crystal. I feel like... Your person has a lot of stuff happening in their head. I don't know if they struggle with some sort of um, anxiety or if they uh, have mental health that is just honestly between the fogginess and then just feeling overwhelmed as well and they just want to sleep all the time but they're not getting enough rest. Your person's headspace is a maze. And it's also a maze of, um, I want to say, saboteur energy. They seem to be self-sabotaging their own happiness at times. We all know of that phrase, you know, yes, you're, you, you can be your biggest strength and your biggest enemy at the same time. Your biggest hype man, your biggest enemy, your biggest strength, your biggest weakness. This person is really sitting in the negativity at the moment. They're trying to overcome it, though. They're trying to... They're fighting hard to not have you on their mind because they don't want to think of the worst case scenario with you. This person's headspace is incredibly guarded with this Nine of Wands. They don't want it to be so, though. They're on a long path of looking after themselves with this Knight of Pentacles. It feels like a health journey. They're trying to find balance. They're trying to understand how to cope with their feelings, their emotions, and their thoughts. Um, some of you, your person may be medicated for something, but I just feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, they're trying to be very careful about what they think. And they, they, that's why they don't want you on their mind, because they don't want to sabotage something with you. It's really careful. Um, it's not to say that they don't think of you, but right now their headspace is not a good neighborhood and they don't want you to be in that neighborhood. Um, this person may dream of you, though, with the Four of Swords. I think I'm still getting that they, they seem to be sleeping a lot. They really do. And with the Knight of Cups, it's not about... They want you to know that this reading doesn't reflect their intentions with the Knight of Cups. They do have feelings for you. They care about you to a certain degree. They want to do the right thing by you. But right now, they are their biggest enemy with the Seven of Wands. They are their biggest enemy. They have to overcome this, this energetic struggle within themselves. And a lot of it is... Um, either anxiety or just sabotaging. They have such a negative frame of mind at times. Um, it feels like they're having to fight all these ones and at times it feels like different personalities within themselves, different aspects of themselves. 
that they're having to battle against doesn't reflect the way that they feel, but they really don't want you to be in there with them because it's like, it's just a lot for them to go through. And with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, it feels like they feel selfish at times. It feels like they have to really just make themselves unavailable. They don't know how much longer they can do this either. And there's something about timing. The future looks uncertain right now. With the Queen of Pentacles, they may be considering other people. They may be having to really just not think about you because they might have somebody else in their life that is demanding a lot of time and attention from them. The Queen of Pentacles makes me think of family, you guys. This person could have a family that they have to consider. And while they do have these feelings developing with the Knight of Cups, it's like they can't act upon their romantic intentions. It is creating a lot of anxiety. Now the Two of Cups over here, we're talking about friendship. We're talking about coming together, a compromised union. I say compromised because this person is, is saying that they can't have Ten of Pentacles with you. And even though they want to, they're having to deny themselves this. <coughs> they're having to really overly control themselves right now. And something about you makes them lose control here. They don't feel tempered when they think about you, which is why they try not to think about you. You just consume them. You overrun all their thoughts. You, you have this ability to just take the wheel with this chariot. You seem to, to make them do things that they aren't comfortable with doing, they want to say. But on the other hand, it, it shows them parts of themselves that they wouldn't have realized they had if it wasn't for you. You seem to both inspire them and terrify them. With the Queen of Wands, you are very attractive to this person. But they keep saying that they don't think of you. They keep saying that they can't think of you. My head is so sore, you guys. It's not in a paining way though, it just feels really foggy. Like I just, I'm to the point where like my eyes can barely stay open. Like this person is just really just trying. Like <clears throat> instead of letting their mind drift towards you, they just go to sleep. They just go to sleep. Oh goodness, I need more. I'm gonna get channeled messages for you. I didn't do this for group one, but I did this for group two, so. Sorry, group one, if you watched multiple groups. <laughs> um, group three, please. Can I get channeled messages from their person? What's going on here? I would do anything for you. This is the Ten of Cups. The emotions are running high. They feel very connected to you. They want you around. I know I didn't say that. We have I just want space now, the Six of Swords. So communication can be very limited with this person. They... um. With that Two of Cups, they want peace. They want friendship, at least. But they are struggling to see a future with you right now, Group 3. They feel like something about this connection is just not right now. And with the Judgment card reversed, there's a heavy level of denial here. But Temperance reversed is saying that something about this connection just makes them feel like they're losing control. And it terrifies them. Temperance is a Sagittarius energy. This person... <coughs> is uncomfortable with the lack of stability here. This person is uncomfortable with the amount of change required to make this work. There's something about this that would just completely rock their situation. And yet it's so exciting at the same time, and yet they can't stop longing and feeling it at the same time. It's like they can't deny their chemistry, but they're trying to control their mind at least. The attraction towards you is there, but they're really trying to keep their mind in, in a real, really well controlled, almost vice. It's like they're just, they're just keeping it in a cage. Like you can't think about this person. You're not allowed to think about this person. But the chariot card is, is talking about movement. It's talking about moving forward, balancing. Excuse me, I'm yawning now. <laughs> Your person sleeps so much, group three, like seriously. I have been awake for hours and it feels like I just woke up. 
even the way I'm sitting, like I'm kind of slumped over. Anyway, the hand, the card in my hand is the death card, 13. I sometimes wonder if you care. So I think it's been a while since you've been able to connect. Um, the death card is talking about some sort of ending here. Something needs to end, and it's scary, it's terrifying, but it is going to mean some growth for something new, room for something new to grow. I just feel like your person is too exhausted to embrace that concept. They're trying to deal with the fact that they've lost something. They're trying to deal with the fact that they have so much emptiness right now. They can't anticipate it being filled with something new and possibly better. Goodness me, what would Group 3's person say to them? We have Strength Reverse. They are feeling very weak. They are fe feeling... Um, I want to say that they're feeling the shadow aspects of the Strength card. They're not really feeling empowered. They don't feel like they have a lot of control. They don't feel like they have a lot of confidence. They don't feel like they have a lot of purpose either as something that's coming through. They're in a very low place, you guys. Their head is a bad neighborhood right now. It's something that keeps coming through. What would Group 3's person like to say to them? We have Be More Selfish reversed. They are struggling. Listen, they're struggling to, to do anything. We also have There Is Someone Else, so this could be a third-party situation. If it isn't, don't let that sway you. We have the Four of Swords. If I asked you to stay, would you leave? This person thinks about this, but they also don't feel motivated to make a difference here. We have Now is Not the Time. We have You Hurt Me, but that's okay, I guess. The Nine of Swords reverse. They also feel like there's been a missed opportunity here in the past. We have Words Do Hurt, which is why this person doesn't talk to you very often. They're afraid of what you might say to them. We have Will You Choose Me? This is reversed, though. This is, I'm hearing I can't choose you. We also have yes reversed. This person is trying to focus on their happiness right now. They feel like they're in a very pessimistic mind space. This is a card that was inspired by the sun card. And for it to be reversed, I'm just playing into that pessimism. They're not feeling optimistic. They're feeling very pessimistic. Their mental health is not doing great right now, you guys. It's not to say that this is going to dictate your future because this person wants to be very clear that the way they're feeling right now, the way they're, their head space is, is not an <coughs> accurate portrayal of their feelings. However, they are feeling very lackluster with the Six of Wands reverse. They're feeling as though they failed you, as though they failed themselves. They're not feeling very confident. They're feeling like they need to hide away with the Six of Wands reverse. It usually talks about public recognition. They're wanting to just hide away. They're feeling a massive imbalance. They feel like they need to collect themselves, like their wands are scattered across the globe. They need to take time to find themselves again, to, to gain confidence again. They really are struggling, Group 3. And I just want to, I mean, we are going to get advice for you, but it's not personal is something that keeps coming through. It's not personal. Your person's energy is just really, really low right now. They are struggling. They don't want to think about you because they don't want to drag you into this pit of just concern and fear and pessimism and worry and anxiety and it's just a lot they're trying to be more selfish but they are really struggling they don't feel confident at all bottom deck energy is this love scares me 11 which might be a significant number for you and we i just saw ah my days i just saw i think we should see other people so maybe you guys had a breakup if that's applicable i wasn't really picking up on that but just take what resonates we are a massive community now big welcome to all of you but it does mean that the messages need to be more general so that we are able to receive the information required now i'm going to get initials and messages for you as well group three what can you tell me about that person are they on their person's mind goodness <laughs> I just heard that I would walk 500 miles. <laughs> oh my gosh. This person is going through a lot. And I think that they are usually an optimist. They are usually very, very much, um, I want to say they have some, they're someone who values honesty and they want people around them who have good intentions and they don't want to do wrong by you. They're saying, I would do anything for you. And yet... <laughs> There's so much here that's just saying they're not in a very good space, you guys. We have U as our first initial. We have T. 
they do still want to be friends. They still want you to be a part of each other's lives. They still want peace in this connection. But there's something about you that just, um, they're unfortunately having to distance themselves from you right now. Um, we also have a D. I just heard Dutty. <laughs> we have an R. It's not the way you spell dirt, but it's kind of, it's kind of, wow, look at that. We have an I. Now we have dirt. Wow. We have a V. We have a P. I also have an X here. So, yes, this person could be your X. You could have shared a lot of history with this person because they're saying they would do anything for you. We have an E. I also have an M or a W here. Take it as it resonates. I also have a C. Oh, my gosh, this person is so exhausted all the time. Oh, wow, it's a lot, you guys. I had to clear the air as soon as I started this reading, but I'm definitely going to have to do it after as well. This person is getting a lot of sleep, but not a lot of rest for some reason. We have a G. We have a H or an H. And my last initial that I have is an N. Now, I'm going to go to these first because we've only got three. We have sleepless. <laughs> Absolutely, this person's sleep is so disruptive. They are not sleeping well. I keep hearing like, I'm able to sleep, but I'm not able to rest. Like, I, I just need more rest. I need more rest. Oh, we have happiness. This person is really trying to focus on their happiness. That's another reason why we were shown all these threes, you know, with this, there is someone else and I think we should see other people. It's talking about happiness, seeking moments of happiness, seeking joy. This person is trying to find their happiness. They are really trying. But right now they don't have a lot of capacity. And it's really hard to think about you because it doesn't really feel fair. It doesn't feel fair. We have gratitude. It was reversed though. Holy heck, I don't think that was a coincidence. This person is really struggling, you guys. And it's, it's not your responsibility. I just want to say that. They're saying it's not your fault, it's not a true reflection of my feelings towards you, but I do need to focus on myself right now. I'm going to get advice for you. We're not going to leave it this heavy. We have I'm grateful for you, January. You are incredibly unique and you have offered something unique to this person. We have I'm grateful for family. You may share a family with this person. You might have mutual friends. One of you could be that could be their family that you're friends with or vice versa. For some reason, family is significant in this connection. I'll just put that over there. We have separation. Yeah, I do feel like this person is trying to keep you at a distance. I just want space. Where was that? I just want space. Yeah, they do. Um, we have I wish. So this person wishes for more. They want more. They know that they can't sit in this energy forever. It's not fair to themselves or the people around them. We also have an F. And the other initial in here is a Q. I just heard quite unique. <laughs> so you seem to have this Aquarius nature. You're very unique to them. You're someone who they appreciate. You're someone who they value. You're someone who they never intended to hurt. You're someone who they do want some sort of future with, but it isn't the future that the two of you intended, which is really painful for them. We have, I'm grateful for my options. I do think that this person is trying to date or perhaps you are trying to date there's this element of a third party interference group three i can't lie there seems to be a third party interference i felt it with the queen of pentacles and then with all this other stuff going on there is a third party interference yeah look at this june karmic partner what else do we have here we have i'm grateful for my fears yeah this person is having to overcome some sort of challenging situation that involves compromise, it involves coming into union with themselves, but in order to do that, they have to accept some pretty dark stuff that they did or some choices that they made or some aspects of themselves that they're not usually quite comfortable with. Um, it's making me think of Scorpio energy. And I just learned the other day that Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. I always only um, gave credit to Pluto, but when you put the two together, it's a quite hectic energy. That is a lot of energy, and that is probably why, you know, scorpions have that ability to bite back, because the Mars, you know, that's the god of war. That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of rage. Don't test a Scorpio. 
Um, we have February. I'm grateful for my love, big love energy. You have a, They have a lot of fond energy around you with this Ten of Cups. They really care about you. They never meant to hurt you, Group 3. We have, I'm grateful for my job. Now, I do think that this person is, they might have lost a job or there's something about their, their money that is, it's actually something that they're trying to better in their life. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, I think health is a priority. Um, their job feels like it's, it's, for many of you, your person can't rely on their job. They can't rely on their income. It's actually something that they're very grateful for, but it doesn't feel sustainable. It doesn't feel secure. It feels like it's also a concern that is creating more anxiety in their life. I want to get advice for you, though. We've talked about your person enough. Can I please get affirmations for group three, please, that you have really given them a lot of confronting energy spirits. So what advice do you have for them? Group three, please. We have, oh, my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. I'm not gonna read that again because it's very long, but pause the video now if you'd like to. This is a very beautiful card. I was feeling called to the word capacity. Your person doesn't have a lot of capacity right now. They feel very tired. They feel very drained, but that doesn't need to be a reflection of your energy either. This is a beautiful card of affirmation and a beautiful card to just kind of ground yourself and appreciate and acknowledge what you do have. Tune into the energy of love. It gives you the words you need when you're ready to speak up the compassion you need when it's time to forgive and the power you need when you feel lost. I want to get one more for you from this deck. For group three, please, spirit. What do I need to hear right now? We have, there is nothing sexier than my authentic self. You have this Aquarius energy, or oh, Scorpio. Um, you're very alluring. There's something about you that can terrify people, and yet you should be embodying that more because you were made exactly the way you were intended to be and don't let another person's actions or behaviors sway you from your authentic self i feel like life is just and sadly it happens sooner for others than than it happens sooner to others than other people i hope i'm not getting too tongue twisted here but anyway life is like a series of challenges that is intended to steer us towards our authentic self. We kind of lose ourselves occasionally and certain instances make us think that we have lost ourselves. but actually we're just discovering who we are meant to be. We're trying to align to our purpose. We're trying to figure out why we're here and what we're here to do. And I think that this is the kind of relationship, this is the kind of connection that really challenges that because you are having to exercise compassion and love to someone who doesn't have the capacity to return that right now. They're telling you that they would do anything to you, for you, and yet they can't show that, they can't prove that, they can't even say that to you. So it's really important that you continue feeding this love into yourself because you can't make everybody happy, group three. The least you can do is be doing things that can make yourself happy, that can make yourself feel better here. There is nothing sexier than your authentic truth. Embrace the person that you are. Stand in your power, feel your power, and don't feel offended by another person's actions and choices and behaviors. They are doing their own thing in their own lane. Stand in your self-power, stand in your self-love, and appreciate that you will always have that strong foundation, regardless of how another person treats you, or acts towards you, you will always have love because it starts from within. Bottom deck energy is I'm a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Absolutely. You are a spirit having a human experience and you're here to get closer to love. That is so cute. That is so cute. All right, I'm going to get some moonology cards for you. Advice for group three, please. My eyes are prickling now. I have so much love for you guys. This is a lot to go through. <sighs> Group three, can we get some advice? I just saw the Aquarius card. You are so unique, group three. You are so unique. Look at this. We have cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in cancer. You are so compassionate. You are so giving. You have a beautiful nature. 
and at times I feel that people may take advantage of you for that. Now, I don't think this person is. I think that they do care about you, but this could be the confirmation that you need to remind yourself that this is a temporary situation. Time is temporary. Energy is constant. Energy is always moving. This situation will reach resolution. We may not be able to predict when because that is out of our hands, but in the meantime, focus on what you can control. Focus on your happiness, your joy right here and right now, and know that this situation is only temporary. The other card I have is adjustments are required. Third quarter moon? Yeah, third quarter moon. So this is a lot of change happening. This situation is only temporary. We have you are good enough. Remind yourself that you are good enough. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. Sit in that self-worth. Sit in that self-love and remind yourself that you deserve every beautiful blessing that this world can offer you. This is the kind of connection that can really rattle your self-confidence because while this person deals with their demons, you have to deal with the doubt. You have to deal with your own fear. You have to deal with your own anxiety, your own questions. And you're not getting the answers you need because this person doesn't have the capacity to extend themselves to you. You're being challenged here to continue to exercise love towards someone who can't return it towards you. <clears throat> it's a lot to go through, but remember, you are good enough. You deserve love. What affirmations, what advice do you have for group three, please? Home. Ground yourself, surround yourself with people who matter, with people who help you feel secure, who help you feel safe, who have the ability to remind you of the wonderful person that you are. Surround yourself with objects that help you feel comfortable. There's this really strong feeling of safety and security, group three, and now I really think I'm going to cry, holy heck. Um, but surround yourself with people who help remind you that you are good enough that ground you to your values, to the beautiful person that you felt like you were going to be. You know, we always have that moment in our life when we're a bit naive and <laughs> very innocent and optimistic and we kind of just feel so sure of ourselves and yet there's so much more that we have to learn. And then our experiences come and, and our hearts get broken and we start to lose ourselves along the way. This card is asking you to return to those places, to those people who help you feel safe, who help you feel secure, who help ground you when you're feeling anxious, who help make you laugh when you want to cry, you know? Those beautiful beings and those beautiful places that bring us happiness when we're very, very sad. And I think that that is what this card is really encouraging you to do. Go back home, surround yourself with these people, surround yourself with these energies and remind yourself that you are good enough and that this situation is only temporary. You will overcome this. Bottom deck energy is commitment. And I want to say that your commitment is being tested and it's not your commitment to this person, group three. It's your commitment to yourself, your com commitment to your future your commitment to the person you are destined to be. You are having to confront some very heavy stuff right now. Look at the shadow and the light on this card. Your commitment to yourself is being tested right now. You will overcome this. This is only temporary, group three. So that is what I'm seeing for you. I'm going to call it there, group three. You're the expert in your life. As always, take what resonates. Don't let the rest take from you. I'm sending you so much love and light. You are incredibly strong. These situations, find people who are capable to overcome them. Remember, this is only temporary. You will overcome this situation. In the meantime, surround yourself with beautiful people who remind you how beautiful and strong and amazing you are. And if you need to cry, cry. If you need to yell, yell. Let it out. Don't bring it with you in the future. This is your commitment to yourself that is being tested, your commitment to your future that is being tested. This is only temporary. It will change. Group three, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.